a fun little fact about me. I am not patient in ways that we like to think of patience. In fact, my husband makes a, a joke out of it by naming those little flowers in patience. He calls them my name. And uh, it's been an ongoing joke throughout our entire marriage and life together. But the reality is we often think wrongly of the word patience in the Bible. And this follows on the heels of what I've been talking about, about waiting for the Lord and how we often get the definition of wait wrong. So too with patience. So in Romans 12, 12, it says, Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. This word patience is the Greek word. I'm going to mispronounce it, so I'll put the Greek here on my screen for you. But it gets at the idea of one who is not swerved, from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to his faith and piety, even by the greatest trials and sufferings. There is a related word, so we have patient and patience. So I gave you the definition for patience, but the other one is very similar for patient, and it means to remain, so to abide, to not recede or flee, to persevere under misfortunes and trials. And again, holding fast to one's faith in Christ, to endure brave bear bravely and calmly. So when we think of patience in the Bible, it is more about holding steadfastly in our faith. We abide in faith. We cling to Christ. This definitely goes hand in hand with the updated wording of weight that we talked about in previous videos. Maybe you should go check those out if you missed them. But I want to encourage you, as we look at waiting for the Lord or being patient It is entirely about our attitude in the midst of this. It's about holding on in faith, regardless of what is swirling around us. Because we might be unsettled, but when we keep our eyes on God, he will hold us steadfast. Something to contemplate today. Blessings on you.